This video will go over how easy it is to create email templates. Underneath campaigns, go ahead and click on template manager. Once you navigate into the template manager page, all your templates would be right here. But if you're first beginning, this is most likely blank. That's why we have some pre-built templates already ready for you to edit to your liking. But today we will be creating one from scratch by clicking on create new email template. Once you click on create new template, this is how the screen will look like. So right here for your template name, this is internal, so for your reference only. Today we will be creating one for reviews. And then here is your email subject line. Make sure that this is something compelling for your customers to open regarding your recent Amazon purchase. And you can also insert variables into here. So it's as easy as copying and pasting that right over to here. And then you can upload your logo image over here. This is where you would attach to the email right here. And then down here, you have the option for style depending on your corporate style. You can have a blue bar, gray bar, it will show right here, etc. And then over here, email type, this is also for your reference. So we will put this as reviews. And then right here is for label colors. These label colors will help keep everything organized and this is really useful, say if you have different brands. And then down here is your content and live email preview box. So here is all of your formatting options and then once you click on show variables, it will show you the ones that we have right here like order ID, order shipping city, product item title, product image, there's links to the review request, etc. So we will be typing in the content box right here and then you'll be able to see how it looks like in the live email preview box as to how it will look like in your customer's inbox. So this is for reviews, so we're gonna just go ahead and write And instead of writing out the item title ourselves, we're going to insert the variable for item title, which is going to be this one. So all you have to do is copy code and come back over to here and either control V or left click paste and you'll be able to see how it looks like on this side. A little underneath that, we're going to insert the variable for product image, which is going to be this one right here. So all you have to do is copy code and then just paste it in right here. So you'll be able to see how it looks like on this side. So underneath that, we're going to put the variable for the product review request link, which is going to be this one right here. So you would just copy code and go ahead and paste it into here. And then a little underneath that, we're going to also have the contact seller variable as well, which is this one. So go ahead and copy code and Go ahead and paste it into here so then these will be the links to direct them to where they can contact you and underneath that we're going to type in thank you and then you can have the variable for a company name as your signature as well so you don't have to write it out yourself so just copy code and paste it into here so you'll be able to see how it looks like on this side so you can leave the email like this, but today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to create buttons and insert GIFs. So right here where it says leave product review for the link, we're going to create a button by going over to the button factory. And then once you're on here, go ahead and type in the text. Once you have it typed in, you can go ahead and change up the font to however you like right here. And then the size, and then right here, we're gonna go ahead and change it to a color that's similar to the Amazon orange color by clicking on this one. 
and then this one as well. And then right here, if you want to add a bubble effect or not, it's however you do like. So then we're gonna go ahead and copy image and then go back into the template and right here it says leave product review. Go ahead and delete this, making sure that there's no extra space after the colons or the brackets. If not, the link will not allow the button to be linked. So go ahead and backspace and then either control V or left click paste and then you'll be able to see it on this side as to how it looks like and we're going to go ahead and do it for contact seller as well by just clicking on go ahead and just copy that from there back into the button factory and paste it into here and again you can change it up to however you do like but i'm going to go ahead and copy this one by copy image and going back into here and how i said Make sure there's no space. If not, it will not link back to that page. So go ahead and delete that. Either control V or left click paste. So you'll be able to see how it looks like on this side. So this is this one. And then to insert GIFs. So this is for a product review request. So I'm gonna just go ahead and write it on this side as well because we're excited that they purchased from us. So then we're just going to go over to Jiffy right here and write happy. And then once you're on here for Jiffy, you will just go underneath and look at all the pictures that they do have for happy. Make sure it is TOS compliant. I'm just going to use this picture right here. So you have to click into the picture because if not, it won't allow the GIF to be inserted correctly if you do it from that search page. So you're just going to go ahead and left click copy and then go back into the template and underneath their name right here, you're just going to go ahead and do control V. So you'll be able to see how it looks like on this side. And then also down here for a thank you, instead of writing out thank you, It'll be a little more fun if we insert a GIF. So go ahead and just come on back to jiffy.com and write in thank you. And then all of these GIFs will show up. Go ahead and left click copy and go back into the template and just click paste right here. And you can resize it to however you like by just clicking on it, changing it up to whichever size that you do like right here. And you'll be able to see how it looks like on the live preview. This is a fun and engaging way to talk to customers because they'll be like really interested in seeing this. And then you can also see how it looks like depending on all your various products by just clicking down here on the drop down menu and then see how it looks like with the different orders. So this is a fun and easy way to send the emails and then all you would have to do is just click save and then you can also send yourself a test email to see how it looks like in your inbox as well. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and for more information please visit feedbackwiz.com.